This is how much I've urinated the last day and a half. And this video is being shot in high definition. The FBI still has me currently on antibiotics, but they're running out. But they're not helping because, uh, as you can clearly see, there's bacteria in my urine starting up again. So, this infection is not going anywhere. But I've had this UTI before I had the infection in my leg. Two different strains of bacteria. Now, the, the FBI had UPMC come in here to do some home health care to dress my wound every day on the stipulation that I sign my fake, and I call them fake, because every time I was sent to a mental health facility, the FBI had their own doctors treat me, and they just told me I was schizophrenic, and I imagined the FBI put cameras in my bathroom watching me and my thin nine and seven-year-old daughter shower and bathe. I imagined the FBI bugged every TV in my house and turned them to covert audio video recording device. I imagined the FBI watching me having sex, undress, sleep with these devices. Everybody who watches my YouTube channel know I didn't imagine any of this. This was all facts. Every time I was sent to a mental health facility, I asked these people, can I show my cell phone? I can back up and prove everything I said. Because these mental health proceedings are a civil procedure, the FBI can deny me a lawyer just like they, deny, they have denied me a civil rights attorney since July 2015. This is how the FBI has weaponized the mental health system against me and my brother. And they'll continue to try to do so. The FBI wants me down Western Psych because Governor Tom Wolf has signed the liability that as people that die in these facilities of coronavirus, unless they were willfully denied medical treatment, they have a blanket waiver from liability. So the FBI was just sent me there and just had data from coronavirus. This is their whole plan. So back to the FBI, uh, UPMC Home Security Day Center here. They said they would send a home, uh, home nurse to uh, come dress my wound every day under the stipulation that I let them have access to all the fake FBI's mental health uh, records where they said I was schizophrenic. That's records from Torrance State Hospital, uh, records from Western Psych. When the FBI doctor sent me there from the hospital, I've only been sent to Western Psych when I was at the hospital. When I got real sick and FBI security, I mean FBI doctors in charge of my health care, did not want to treat me and did not want me coming back to the hospital. So they just 302 me, which some people call a 5150. And there, once I get there, of course, I'm being just like with the, using the power of the Patriot, how the FBI has uh, their own medical staff treat me in the hospital. It's the same way at these mental health facilities. None of these people ever, ever asked me what happened to me, why I'm going through this, watch my videos. I told my brother to lease all my mental health records and my hearings that I had in front of the judges. When I repeatedly asked, Judge, I would like to show you my phone so I can show you what happened to me. And they called me delusional, schizophrenic. This is COINTELPRO by the FBI. This is how you discredit a person. And this is how the FBI is trying to get away with murder, torture, and framing me. So, because I did not sign the FBI's paper, they tried to trick me into signing. I had to read the fine print that if I signed that paper, I was letting them have access to the mental health records so they can discredit me and just say I was schizophrenic. Like somehow I'm imagining urinating like this all day. I'm imagining this infection on my leg. And they cannot treat me. I refused. So the FBI nurse came here for the safe haven program talking about some other body fired his home health care anyway. I didn't fire anybody. I just said I was not letting the FBI have access to their fake mental health records. So they can use that to not treat me. These are the tactics the FBI is using. They're going to continue to use them until I fall out and die. Or by the grace of God, I make it through this. I promise my daughters, James and Claire Bulls, that daddy is going to fight every step of the way. I'm going to fight every step of the way to the grave. Because I want them to know. And I only care about them. James and Claire Bulls. This is why I make these videos. So they can know what happened to their dad. And how I stood up and fought for their honor, dignity, and justice. And it cost me everything, including my life. But you should not have children if you don't want to die for them. I am not a hero. I'm just some poor indigent nigger who stuck up for his daughters. And I was exterminated by the FBI for this. Black lives don't matter.